Now the team is composed of about 20 members. At the top of the hierarchy, we have the team captain. So he has the widest scope. He can take uh, the big decisions. So under him, we have the mechanical team leader, the electrical team leader, the software team leader, and we have a treasurer. So uh, this year, we completely redesigned the whole platform. We had two main objectives. We wanted a mechanically more challenging platform, and we also wanted to be able to go deeper. It's too hard to do maintenance right now on the old submarine. Uh, the reason is we're lacking space. Uh, it's hard to get a PCB out. We do not have enough, enough space to add a new PCB. Also, we're not able to add uh, uh, new components around the new submarine and we don't have enough space on the whole to add new connectors. Last year, we were facing a lot of challenges with navigation. A lot of the problems we had was that the vehicle wasn't stable enough uh, when navigating through obstacles. All the mechanical components were designed by students from our team. Everything that is blue on the vehicle was fabricated in-house using the CNC machine of our university. Everything that is black was cut using a water jet machine by one of our sponsors. So this is our 2011 vehicle. Uh, if, if you look at the middle, you can see the uh, center hall. And all around it are, is the, the frame and all the external enclosures. So our vehicle is equipped with six thrusters. You also have the, the main hall, which uh, holds all the electronics for our vehicle that is necessary to navigate. It's uh, separated in three sections. You have the custom electronics section at the back. At the front, there's the PC sections. And in the middle, you have all the connections that are made. And the, the front and back sections are in tray that we can remove easily to, uh, to debug the electronic. Uh, another key feature is the uh, grabbing device. So uh, basically it's a pneumatic cylinder that is activated and our grabbing device is able to either grab or release an object uh, very easily. Uh, the, the objective on the next submarine is, well, at first uh, have easy maintenance. So it's easy to add new components. It's easy to remove components or replace them. On the old submarine, we had many PCBs controlling the submarine. If one broke, we had to find which one. So the, the goal now is to centralize all the electronics in one control board. In order to do that, uh, we had to use a more powerful processors. Uh, what, it, what it brought us is um, a simpler communication between the electronics and the artificial intelligence. Another goal is to minimize the wiring. So in order to do that, we did a lot of backplanes. So we minimize air wires, so we minimize the complexity, and we also optimize the space that we use. This year, Sonia decided to create a new navigation controller, which relies a lot on the DVL, which gives us um, a relative coordinate in the pool, so we can now navigate in meters. This year, we decided to go with the JAWS protocol, which allowed us to share our JAWS library with other clubs at ETS. So we shared the development time and the debugging time. In order to have a good design and a design that works, we had to communicate between mechanical and electrical teams. So our PCBs had to fit in the submarine and we had to, to, to respect the space that we had. And also communication with the software team. So of course the electronic talks with the software, so we need to speak the same language. And finally, we needed to speak amongst us because we had multiple PCBs that connected together. So if the team, if the team members did not talk together, uh, the PCBs would not fit together. This year, we achieved over 250 hours of pool testing, which gave us a lot of insight into the new vehicle. We're very excited to go to the competition. We have a brand new submarine. Uh, this submarine is, uh, we're very proud of it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful design. Uh, many teams have a new design also. It's going to be exciting to see their vehicle too. Uh, the, the competition is going to be tough this year. It's going to be challenging, but we're up for that and 
We're eager to get there. Thank <laughs> you.